if you are a local business, it's really important to get a, a step up, meaning, you know, get ahead by actually utilizing and, and setting up your Google business profile. So that way you can beat other competitors anyway. All right, we are here. Um, today we're going to talk about um, going over the step-by-step -step tutorial on how to rank um, and get you ranked number one, hopefully, right, on local search using Google Business Profile. So you may or may not know Google Business Profile is probably undervalued maybe, uh, but for those that are aware of it, you know, you have the upper hand um, in terms of getting uh you know leads generated from your google business profile all right so today i'm going to go over step by step i'm going to set up a new google business profile listing um and we're going to go through the steps and then i'm going to give you some other things that you need to do to optimize your google business profile let me share my screen because i want to go over um some of the businesses that are eligible as well as ineligible you got to google google business profile guideline and when you type that in you should get as a search right here guidelines for representing your business and so once you click on that it has it here eligible businesses as well as ineligible business one of the uh, my followers or my subscribers got in contact with me and was talking about having her rental as one of her property as a um, and she actually had it as a google business profile listing so but once google finds out that it is uh, a rental it will most likely get suspended anyway so this shows you where you know whether your business is eligible or it's not let's go ahead and start uh create a new google business profile so uh, in order for you to do that you know can google business profile be eligible for most local businesses actually all local businesses when i mean local i don't mean local around me but any business that is um majority of the businesses that are on the local like you know your main street and things like that they are eligible for a google business profile now if you're a professional like an agent or investor um and or plumber or you know you're working out of your home um you know agents definitely can um you know have a google business profile but there may be certain instances where you know like then now you're competing with other agents in that same office and so that's why it's important um you know if you ha do have your um if you ha if you are a local business it's really important to get a, a step up meaning you know get ahead by actually utilizing and, se and setting up your google business profile so that way you can beat other competitors anyway are some online businesses applicable yes they are eligible and uh, home-based business like plumbers, as I said before, are eligible, right? So because you may work out of your home, but you have a service area that you represent. I did two previous videos where I go over how to set up a Google business profile specifically for agents. I'll put those links below so that you can see those. It is useful content. The user interface is a little bit different because Google my uh it used to be called google my business and now it's called google business profile google has went away with the app that you used to have on the phone but now there are, uh, you can control your google business profile through your chrome browser or through google maps let's go and take a look at registering your business on google business profile so what you do is you go to google.com backslash business and once you do that you have to be using a uh, a gmail account that is associated that you would like to associate your google business profile so um, whether it's a custom domain uh, or a free gmail account it has to be associated with a google account so um, you know in this case if you're not signed in it will not show manage i guess um but if either way you know if i click manage that means that i'm signed in i'm already signed into the gmail that i would like to associate this specific listing all right so i'm just going to go to manage now and then if it doesn't have a google business profile listing associated with that it will come to this and it's basically saying um would you like to basically get started if it already has a listing then you would go to that 
um, listing. This will pull up. This is my Google business profile listing for this specific business. I am going to create a new business entity for my software. I am actually in the process of working on releasing my own uh, software app, um, mobile app, no, desktop and mobile app. And it's actually called pro360.io. And so I'm going to create a business with this name, continue. And then it gives you a choice of uh, online retail, local store, or is this a service-based business where my business makes visits to, um, to customers. So in this case, my online retail is not quite ready. So I am going to um, leave it at that. And then, uh, cause it's a software as a SAP, it's a uh, SaaS platform. So I'm going to just leave it as a local store for the time being. Right. And then I may change it later to service-based business or online retail. In those instances where you have a home-based business, what you have to do is you have to make it a service-based business, go through the process to get verified. So in this case, you would use your home address. Your home address won't be listed, but it will. Uh, that's where they will send you a verification code, a uh, postcard, so that you can verify the location. In this case, let's just uh, see if a software, software company, and then click next. And then this is where you will put in your address, right? Click next. If you click on service area, it will not ask for the address. Now here, this is basically your, the, the phone number to your business. And so I've already set up a phone number for this business. So if you do have a website already, then you will put in your website. Otherwise you can leave it blank, right? This is the only instance where uh, Google business profile, you're able to generate leads, even if you don't have a website. And so um, that's why it's great for local businesses. Um, because it will generate traffic uh, and leads locally within your area. Click next. I don't want any notifications. So I will just click continue. All right. You're now verify. Now, this is a very interesting case where in certain instances, like this is a rare occasion where it basically verifies it without even me. So how does Google verify this information. I mean, Google indexes the website. I do have a website up and running, but I'm not fully ready to release it to the public, right? So if you go here, if you go take a look at crow360.io, um, it has a website. I don't know if Google pulled it, even though I did not put the information there. So Google is using various information on the internet that it indexes as well as the phone number that it that i inputted and then it verifies whether this is a legitimate business or not lo and behold i don't need to get it verified because it apparently has it verified already so this is a rare occasion so this actually uh, i'm very surprised by that because usually they do have a verification process and um you know usually they will send a postcard they will even go to certain extreme extreme where i had a um a artist in canada had to do a video recording of his home office right actually the fr front of his house or apartment and he actually literally had to go uh, we actually had him record his home office his area where he draws and things like that to actually get his listing verified. So there are various degrees that uh, Google will ask to get verified because at the end of the day, Google wants to make sure that every listing that, that Google has is a legitimate business. So in here, I'm gonna put in here nine to five. I may change that, but I'm just gonna just put in the hours for now. Then click next. Let customers message your business on Google for free. I definitely want to uh, add this in because it is a, another avenue for customers to communicate with you through their uh, through chat messaging. Okay, um, I will accept. And then here, a business description. I will uh, skip this for now because this is you need to put in a little bit thought about what you want to put in here. You are allowed 750 um, characters in here. I believe those are characters, not words that you can put in here. And um, rather than, I really need to sit down and really put that in. And so that's gonna probably take me some time. So I'm gonna skip that for now. So it's not a necessary component when you're setting up your Google Business Profile. And then adding photos, I can do that later as well. Okay, so those are things that you need to kind of get prepared for and have everything ready. And so that way you can kind of knock it out at one 
shot okay and then click next and then here um the, this 500 free advertising credit is gonna always be there i haven't that has never disappeared so uh, i'm not gonna go ahead and create my google ads account so i'm just gonna skip that for now as well and then um i already have a, a domain already so i'm going to so later on when i add the domain um add the website um that's when it's going to connect the dot with uh you know so when it, google business profile is going to see my website and so it's going to verify it so i'm going to do that later once i fill out more information on my website i may actually get these domain names <laughs> so anyway all right so i'm going to skip that for now where it'll be visible once you verify okay so actually i take that back i thought it was verified but it hasn't been verified it is verified as you can see here typically if it's not verified then it will not show up it will say uh, your your edits will not be visible until it's verified okay so um this is a very interesting scenario um so now i have it ready when you register your google business profile and google let's just say they send you a postcard it's going to take you probably a week or two okay last week i did one for um real estate life 360 now so as you can see here it's saying your access has been disabled because the profile doesn't follow the guideline now the reason this could be is because previously i had real estate life 360 and google suspended it because it they considered it a online business and not a a, a business that is that's eligible now i may try you know is it worth for me to go and try to um, reinstate it or or fight it probably not because um it's that's not you know for me i'm it's not the main source of uh traffic but i'm glad this one went through and so my goal with this is to uh, build up the google business profile and optimizing it i want to thank you for watching bye now